Now let's scatter some points on the terrain. To do this, we're going to start by again masking by feature. And what we want to do is find the area of the plateau. So we're going to use a very low slope angle, 0 to 50, and then we're going to mask by height. We're going to pick a height of 70 and height of 85. So this just creates this thin area uh, around where the plateau is. Once we have that, we can then use a right click on here and do a scatter, uh, height field scatter, which is able to work with the height field nodes and right now is scattering points all over the surface. Uh, we can feed the mask into the second input and now we're only getting points on the mask areas. Um, we can decrease the coverage so we don't have quite as many points and that will give us what we need. And there are a bunch of other parameters we can use. Uh, we can keep the incoming terrain if we want or we can bring it back later and we can do things uh, regarding you know what happens when we copy to those points. So let's go tab copy to points and we're going to go into here we're going to pack an instance whatever we copy to here and we just what we're creating now is almost more like a a stand-in. So we're going to just create a cylinder. So tab cylinder. Place that right here in the network node. And a cylinder can be used to uh, create a sort of a cone. So be 0 and 2 and we're going to make the height. Let's make that 10. And put the center up so that it sits on the ground. So we're going to take that tube we're going to plug that in. Oh, we're going to right click here just to put a color node down and just so we can make those things green. Just make them easy to find. And we'll darken, darken that green a little bit. And we'll feed that color node uh, into the second input of the copy to points. And there we go. So we've got these sort of trees coming in. Now you can see at sort of their working with the terrain so they're the normals off the terrain so that's sort of going everywhere so we can say don't match the normals so they they sit up and then what you can do is you don't want now it's perfectly straight which is maybe a little too much so what we want to do is we want to uh, play around with the uh, up so randomize up and you just get a little variety in there which 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 looks good and um, you can also do the yaw. Now we're not going to see the benefit of this in this case because it's it doesn't have branches or it's a symmetrical object. But later, with other when we put other tree types on, we'll feel that a little bit more. And we can deal with the variability on the the height a little bit from range one to two. So we're already getting trees of different sizes. And there we go. So once we've got our tree set up, it, instanced and set up, we can just put a merge node down. And we can bring those two things back together again. So we can take the, the initial height field, uh, the geometry itself, and then put the copy to points and merge those together. And there we've got our trees sitting on the landscape. And we can clear the mask and put that in there. And that gives us a, a nice clean look that we can export.